morning of day two. I got the anchor up and, and everything uh, as well as can be expected. It went very well. Apparently my anchorage was soft mud, so everything was good. I'm now underway. It is 7.23 a.m. So it took me less than 10 minutes to weigh anchor. Uh, I plotted out my course. I'm headed for a marina tonight. And unlike the uh, trip here, uh, the course is studded with anchorages, uh, anchorages and marinas the entire way. So uh, the morning's going to be overcast. It's not too cold. Uh, extremely late winds. I barely slept last night, and the when I did sleep. I dreamed of uh, running into things and uh, uh, running into things and dragging anchor. So, but my anchor alarms worked flawlessly. The ground tackle worked. I was most impressed. I have a lot more confidence in it now. I'm currently underway. I'm in 23 feet of water, moving at between 5.7 and 6 knots. Uh, I've learned from yesterday, so I have a, I'm a lot more prepared here in the cockpit. Uh, I've also determined that part of my problem yesterday was I was making sharp turns, and boats don't do that. They make banking turns. So uh, I will check in with you periodically through the day, but this is the morning, 7.25 a.m. Most people are getting ready to go to work. It's a Monday morning. I am cruising. All right, so this is me making a turn. That thing is cool. That thing is really cool. This is as close as I can get to it. All right. So, the time is 9.50. So, in 20 minutes, I'll have been going for three hours. I've covered quite a bit of distance, however, uh, I updated the weather report information and uh, I thought it seemed kind of cold they're predicting snow flurries <clears throat> but there is also a small craft advisory out for the Potomac uh, for the Chesapeake which was supposed to be the uh, destination for today and uh, when I read that I started thinking. It's uh, looking like it's going to be two days. Winds 15 to 18 miles an hour with gusts stronger than that. So I have made a command decision. I am making a run for the closest marina to me because. I'm actually starting to get snow flurries. Snow flurries! Good pirate mustache don't sail during snow. So, I'm making a run for that marina. And unfortunately, I may have to put up there for two days. Looks like the advisory is only until Tuesday. So, that'll be my first delay, but I'm going to make a run for this marina. I've kicked the engine on higher. I didn't care about my burn rate because this stuff's supposed to kick off at round 11. I may be able to make it to that marina before then. So... 
that's uh, the update. I'll let you know when I get there. Status update. It is 10.40 a.m. I've been stopped by range control. Uh, apparently there's a live fire going on. Um, they are escorting me to the edge of the range. I told them where I'm going. They're going to see if they can uh, get me through it. But uh, the snow flurries are starting to kick up. So, and uh, he was telling me if I wanted to get through, it, they would have sent me round and about and everything. It, I, I wouldn't have been able to make a straight line distance. So, kind of a good idea that I'm planning to do this. I'll check back in with you when I get through, uh, hopefully not blown up. All right, I'm currently running like a bat out of hell. It is 11.49. I got held up for an hour waiting for this range to clear. Uh, they held me up. Really nice guys. He's actually a subscriber now. Uh, but he, they held me up for an hour. And then uh, once they got a break, he asked me how fast I could go. And I told him, six miles an hour. And he said, okay. Here's what I want you to do. He laid out the course he wanted me to take and said, I need you to make your best time, which I am. So uh, I'm almost into the entryway for the marina. He gave me a real uh, recommendation for a place to maybe grab a bite to eat. So I, I may take him up on that offer because a local recommending a restaurant, you can never go wrong with that. Uh, he also confirmed the uh, weather reports that I got for the Chesapeake Bay and uh, how bad it's going to be. He also gave me pointers on uh, when I leave this place how I can avoid the, uh, the range fire. Uh, they are shooting 30 millimeter cannons. I was watching it. It was right in the entryway. I am so glad he stopped. I know that's his job, but I'm so glad he did it, and he did it well. So I'll check in with you uh, once I get to this marina. All right, so I got to the marina here. Uh, they It's kind of like this T-shape with an overhang in the middle uh, for some covered boats, but there's several sailboats here, so I just tied up on the, on the outside of the T. Uh, the store says that they are closed Monday through Thursday. They're all, I guess they're only open on the weekend or whatever. Uh, but the place looks deserted. Uh, I'm hoping to be here today and tomorrow to wait for that weather window. Uh, and there's still patrol boats. Uh, around the firing area. It's funny, as soon as I got out of the firing area, I mean, literally, it's in my wake, and they opened fire again. It turns out they were testing uh, 30 millimeter barrels before they're sent out to a ship, and they were firing them in bursts of 30. Literally, I drove between the marking buoys for being too close and their range pylons. <laughs> Essentially, I drove right through the impact area. Uh, luckily, the uh, range guy who stopped me, who is now a subscriber, uh, gave me pointers on how to how to leave here. Uh, he confirmed the weather for me. Uh, looks like there's a gas station uh, a couple miles away. Uh, which is good. So uh, let me share with you some of the things that I have deduced uh, over the last day and a half or whatever, since I have the time, since it is literally, let's see what time it is. It is literally 12.54. So this is already going to put me behind uh, my apparent schedule, but my apparent schedule needs to be reworked anyway, so that's one of the things I plan to do over the next day and a half. Uh, so it is 
six miles an hour uh, before my burn rate gets just completely out of control. Uh, and I mean literally. Like I... Because I gunned it, I didn't care about fuel getting through that because they literally called off fire for me to traverse through. Um, but, uh, I mean, I, I gunned it. I was at three quarters throttle and I was doing, uh, seven knots until I turned into the wind and then it dropped to below five. Uh, wind is playing a really wicked part. Uh, so that's not good. Uh, but, um, the difference between three quarters throttle and half throttle is maybe on a, on a calm area, maybe a mile an hour increase. It is not beneficial. So it looks like I'm going to need to recalculate for an average of six miles an hour instead of 10 miles an hour. Uh, uh, this is the, I don't have a radio on board. Um, I stepped on the lead and broke it. <laughs> and, uh, well, the store is not open, so I won't be able to replace it. But I, uh, luckily they didn't care that I didn't have a radio, but they were trying to call me on the radio before the guy came over. When they couldn't get a hold of me, they, they drove over. Uh, so I've got to look to uh, see about repairing that first breakdown of the trip. Uh, I have two three gallon cans and I had planned to use one as an overflow, but that was with calculations based on half a gallon an hour, uh, which seems to be the average unless I've got to give it more, uh, because I'm fighting something. The intercoastal waterway is supposed to be a lot different than this. I mean, uh, literally, uh, I'm on uh, the Potomac and it's actually getting out to be wider and wider and wider, uh, because I'm approaching the Chesapeake, which is why I decided to put in for a couple of days. It was snow flurrying out there in the middle of the lake, but when I got here to shore, it's not snow flurrying anymore. Uh, but, uh, the wind I could definitely tell, uh, was a factor being out there. So, I think once I get on the Chesapeake, things will kind of return to normal. Um, it's just getting to the Chesapeake. So th this is a weather window. Uh, I could brave it. However, it's 15 to 18 mile an hour winds with gusts higher approaching 2025. 20, this little marina is in this nice little protected area. I don't think I will see any of it. Oh, or much of it. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm nestled in a nice little protection area. I'm at a marina. I am safe. Um, and I can, I can resupply because I've already gone through one five-gallon can of gas. Uh, and what I've learned is when I run out of fuel, the engine will just die. Um, and then I have to put new fuel in and, uh, try to get everything going again. I was thinking I'll, I'll, I'll actually fill both of them and I'll just hot swap, uh, when one gets low, make it easier instead of trying to, uh, dump a fuel can while underway. Uh, which is difficult. I'm also going to take the opportunity since I'm planning on being here uh, for a day and a half. Um, I'm actually going to take the opportunity to see about getting the autopilot installed. I might as well utilize the time uh, that I'm here because it's delaying the journey. Uh, but I'm going to err on the side of caution. 100% of the time. I'll check back in with you later. And as a final capper for 
uh, the end of day two. I've actually spoke to the owner of the marina that I'm at. I'm here for the rest of this day and uh, all day tomorrow. Very agreeable guy. Uh, stand by for uh, some footage of uh, some of the cool things he's got available here, including some kick A boats. So I'll film that tomorrow, get it posted for day three. However, I wanted to show you this is where I'm at. This is what I'm avoiding. This is uh, the re reason why there was a small gale, uh, a small vessel uh, gale warning out. And it would have been my destination today had I continued on. So, yeah. As always, Dread Pirate Mustache here. Continue to wish me luck.